<laughs> hey guys, I'm back with another video. And this is like so much more dramatic than any of my other videos, and I just wanted to do something that was out of my comfort zone. I apologize if my voice If it is, I'll do a voice note, a voiceover. But yes, I'm doing a tutorial on this eye look. It's chunky glitters, fine glitters, black and pink liner. I'm really excited about this look. I was so scared to do it. And in the middle of me doing it, I wasn't feeling it. But I'm like, trust the process. Like, let me just keep doing it and see what the complete product looks like. And it looks pretty good i like this for my first time trying this i feel like i did a pretty good job and if you want to learn how i did this or see just for fun continue watching hey guys, back with another video and this this tutorial is going to be so much more dramatic and one second i came from my hair clip and um, I need to pull this back without, which one calling it? Make, I'm um, putting the mark in my hair. So, before I get started, you guys know I normally do my eyebrows first and set and prime my lids. But today is going to be a little different. I'm going to prime my face first. This is something that I just got, but it's highly recommended. Like, everyone uses this for oily skin so even though this is not what that's for but yeah so i got the big one because i'm also going to be doing putting this on clients as well so yeah this is why it doesn't look like anything this is weird like to put this on your face and this is like a medicine type thing i need a mirror i'll use this so i'm just gonna use this brush and like rub it all over my face and then for my eyelid i'm just gonna i'm not gonna set it i'm gonna conceal it and then put the eyeshadow straight on from there So while that's drying, I'm just gonna start. Ooh, bitch. I just dropped the glitter that I mixed together, but it's fine. So I'm using my um, shape concealer in the shade Tan Sand, and. I'm just gonna put that all over my lid. And then to blend, well, I'm not gonna blend this like fully in, just to um, even out the application, I'm just gonna tap my dry beauty blender in my eyelid this looks crazy i'm just slightly tapping that in so that is evened out and then i'm gonna go in with this brush from ruby kisses and um what the i look like a ghost i'm gonna take this and this like dark um burgundy burgundy is already dark this plumish um color so i'm gonna take that right into my crease just tapping it in without blending it so much more intense that is like rather than 
what is it called rather than setting it because if i just set it i would be here forever trying to build or build up the color I'm going to tap off all the excess and bring it up, like blow out the edges with no product, just bringing it up a little bit. I'm going to also help blow out the color with this orange right in this upper corner. This is crazy. I can't believe I'm actually recording myself looking like this. I'm going to cut my um, crease using this other beauty supply brush. Also from the brand Ruby Kisses because I can't find what I normally use. So... We're already at 10 minutes. I cannot shorten my videos to save my life. So I'm going to use this brush from Vanity Planet. It came in a set, so I don't have a name for it. And my NYX Glitter Primer. So I'm going to squirt that on the back of my hand. My hands always look like this. And I'm going to tap that in where I cut my crease at. And then I'm going to tap on some glitter with another brush. Just for my inner corner. I'm going to use my finger for the other half. But I like to um, put my glitter on in sections, so I'm going to use this. I got this in a set also um, from Amazon, so these don't have names. So for the inner corner, I'm just going to take this. So I forgot that... I at the bottom I still made it work but I think I'm gonna do my liner first so another thing that I made a mistake with um I think I'm supposed to put the small the finer glitters first as the base and then tap the chunky glitter on top but I'm gonna do my so right here I'm gonna do my liner first because I figured out what I did wrong with this eye so that's another reason why I like to do one eye off camera So yeah, and I mixed it with this other glitter. <laughs> this glitter is actually not cosmetic this glitter. It came from like a cause my graduation I think I took. I don't know. I made my I decorated my graduation cap with this glitter.
can't reach with the big chunky glitter I'm gonna go in with the fine glitter and the brush and throw that in Then like this one, I'm going to line with the pink after this dries, so I'll be back in one second. So now that that's dry, I'm going to go with the Vivid, the Vivid. Vivid Bright's NYX Pink Liner, Vivid Petal. And if you have any recommendations for a different like colored liner, please leave it down below. I hate this, but this is all I have, so this is all I have. Like, I can use anything else, so I try to make it work, but it cracks so much. And I just hate it. So I'm gonna start. I'm trying to do this as neat as possible, but it's okay if you mess up. On the bottom, like overlap the black because you can just clean it up with the black liner. So that's what I did with the other eye. line as sharp as possible and it's still a little rocky because of the chunky glitter they're not completely flat and i'm just gonna try to clean it up as much as i can this would be better without the glitter to line but practice makes perfect and So as you can see, it looks junky as f I'm gonna let that dry and go back in with the liner as promised. Put my lashes on and then, you know, the real my foundation. So now that the stuff on my face is dry and I put my, um, how do I like my hair cut, first of all? I cut my own hair. But anyway, now that this stuff on my face is dry, and and my eyes done, my liners fixed up. I'm gonna go in with my NARS foundation. Hopefully, it's dry. If it's not dry, I'm gonna be tight. But it feels dry, and the drier it gets, the whiter it is, and. It can't get more wider than this. So, it's so short that I can't even put it behind my ear. Like, and I can't find my hair clip. So, let me try my chin.
look what I found. And I'm halfway through the damn look. Wow. So I got this from the crayon case. Um, I bought it. I don't know where's my Clean Kisses lip gloss, and I'm really feeling some type of way about that because that's my new favorite. So it was like that's my new favorite. So I'm gonna go in with Magenta Salon my lips. So now I'm back. I'm going to use Magenta to line my lips. And this lip plumper from e.l.f. I forgot what the name of this is. But it's pink. Pinkish. So I'm going to line my lips with that. I don't even know if you can see that, but it's pretty pigmented. And I'm going to go around with this. Hopefully this is a cute lip combo because I've never tried this before. And I apologize if the, uh, my voice is going in and out. I don't know what's wrong with my phone. And then I'm, I have to do my lower lash. And blend in my falsies with my real lash. That is pretty much it for the completed. Ooh, the complete, the completed, the completed look.